an enthusiastic Philadelphia welcome to the Berlin String Band. And uh, Fern Dorfman obviously very happy with that, Joe. I'm sure yeah. she should be, and that's any indication of what we're going to see all day. It's going to be a great parade, but it's kick off like that. We'll be back more live right after this. Some of the nation's best hospitals are right here in the Delaware Valley. But when it comes to heart care, one of them stands out from the rest. Temple University Hospital. At Temple, we have more ways to treat your heart, which means you'll get the treatment that's right for you. If you or someone you love has a heart problem, come to the hospital that offers more heart care options. Temple University Hospital. Call 1-800-TEMPLE-MD for information about your heart care options. Would you like to refinance your first mortgage, or pay off a high-rate second mortgage, or maybe purchase a new home, but you've been late with payments from time to time? Don't worry. Call 1-800-DIAL-CASH. Statewide Capital has the money you need, and we intend to lend homeowners over $250 million this year. Even homeowners who've been turned down elsewhere can take advantage of today's low rates by calling 1-800-DIAL-CASH. For a better tomorrow, dial cash today. The Old El Paso Challenge. We asked these Southwestern salsa experts. I've been making my own salsa for 16 years now. We know our salsas. To taste new homestyle salsa from Old El Paso. This is very much like the salsa that I make at home. They used fresh ingredients. It says fresh green bell peppers. Fresh onions. Fresh jalapeno wow. and fresh cilantro. That's more fresh ingredients than anyone else. Might pass it off as something I made. <laughs> Try new homestyle salsa from Old El Paso. You can taste how fresh it is. It tastes homemade. From Touchstone Pictures, whenever people talk about the greatest legends, the mightiest adventurers, and the most courageous heroes, there's one name that never comes up. I'm at my wit's end. I can't take it. Chris Elliott. Okay, moron. You go stand in the bow and let us know when we're coming close to ice. Okay, you hit one. Cabin Boy. When I return, I shall be a cabin man. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, January 7th at a theater near you. The Durning String Band is lining up, and while we wait, here is Dick Sheeran. Dick? With us is the String Band captain from the Berlin String Band, Fern Dorfman. First, congratulations on a great performance. Thank you very Were much. Were you satisfied with the way things went? Very satisfied. It was okay. a long walk up here from me, too. You have a distinction here being the only female captain. Yeah. Did that put some pressure on you? A little bit, but I'm ready. All right. I, I think we have a tape of your performance, so let's take a look at that testing, performance. Now, testing, there you are. wireless mic. Testing, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I did it. I'll get it. How long did it come together? How long did it take to come together? Um, a while. A while. A while. Was it difficult because this band is kind of formed by members of other bands? This is yeah, really your first. We were all started together, and it was formed for a friend of ours passed away this past year, and we got. He always wanted a Berlin String Band, and we did it for him, and he carried us up the street and. He gave us our inspiration, and we did it for him. Really? His yeah. spirit, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. Captain Dorfman, thank you so much. Congratulations. We'll go back to the booth. All right. Back Dick Sheeran, thank you very much. And the captain of the Berlin String Band, their first performance on the street. And coming up, we have the Durning String Band. The Durning String Band, uh, led by Captain Jerry LaRosa, Jr., in his second year, Pat. And uh, Durning finished 14th last year, and March 14th. And they're looking to March 2nd and finish 2nd this year, maybe. Their theme this year is business is picking up, and uh, they're very excited. 58 marchers, 7 high schoolers, 30 marshals, music director Frank Canello, and uh, they're a pretty proud band here. I think Fern Dorfman, though, is very excited today that she just made it down the street in one piece, getting this band on the air, and very, very thrilled about being uh, in the Mummers Parade for the first time. And, uh, Joe, I don't know whether you can do this uh, quickly enough, but they were, the Berlin was an independent band, not a part of the... Uh Association. That's right. Berlin came in this year and chose not to join either of the associations that exist today. And the color guard in front of Durning right now. And the captain, by the way, will be an elaborate hobo in black velvet pants. Watch for him with a bird's nest in his hat. And the theme of the Durning String Band this year for 1994 is business is picking up. Founded in 1935, the Durning String Band is standing by for its four and a half minutes 
in the sunshine and spotlight of Philadelphia's grandest event, the 1994 Mummers Parade. And this year's performance of Durning is dedicated to the memory of Benjamin Benny Frateroli, a longtime member who passed away back on December the 4th. He would have been a marshal with the band this year. Tremendous family feeling here, Joe, uh, always with the groups in, in terms of recognizing the people who passed on and continued on. Yes, uh, Larry, as you know, the Mummers are a loyal bunch of people, loyal to their family and to their hobby, and uh, Jack Key is the president of Durning. He was the captain for 12 years, and he was the president of the association, and he's playing the big bass sax in the middle of that band today. He's dedicated to Mummery and to the Durning String Band. And we're standing by right now for the performance before the judges of the Durning String Band. They've been on the street about... Uh, I guess about four hours now, right? Just about, uh, coming from South Philadelphia? That's right. The first band left uh, Bruin, Oregon at 10.30. And you can feel the electricity with the crowd. Here they go. Durning.
Drink Band with Jerry LaRosa Jr. for the second year as captain. Joe Deegan, give us your instant analysis. What do you think about the way that the club put their uh, program Very entertaining, together? a nice theme. Uh, the earning won't be trashed with that, that's for sure. They did a great job with it. The dancers did excellent moves out there. And uh, Eddie Eels, one of the dancers, is also the drill master. Jo Joe Deegan, they will not be trashed. The line of the afternoon. And right now, right <laughs> Dick Sheard is standing by with the captain and hopefully the replay, Dick. Yes, indeed. We have Captain LaRosa. Uh, you're a little out of breath right now, but we're going to give you a chance to just catch it. We're going to play a little tape of your performance. This is your second year at captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I want to ask you first, did it feel a little easier this time than yeah, last? A little more experience. We had a lot of help with, from our president, Jack. He gave me... If he went up 12 years, he gave me a little advice. Okay, let's take a look at that performance there. Were you satisfied with the way things went? Oh, you're not kidding. You're not kidding. This was a real good one for us. Really? A real habit. Good. Oh, yeah, damn good. What did, where did this idea come from? It's kind of strange. Uh, <laughs> kind of a band That's Mark right. Cyber came up with it. Streetwise theme. Everybody should know the music. A lot of fun. It seemed like a lot of fun for you. Oh, now, as, as far as the, the maneuvering there, that what we're seeing now, uh, this this took a lot of extra work, this part here? Yes, uh, a lot of extra about work that? in the costume and dancing part. A little imagination, a lot of color. Yeah, there's a lot of work from within the band. What about your piece here? Uh, how long did that take to put together? Three days. Three days. Three days. <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're in a club doing this. All right, well, good luck, Captain. Congratulations yeah. for a great performance. Mom, Dad, ain't even that much for you. Okay, Take that's care. great. See you. We'll go back up to the booth. A family dedication there. Just uh, really a lot of fun. Coming up next, we have the Ukrainian American String Band. We'll and be right back. No, I'll I think be right back. You know, we're, we're back. Wasn't that fast? <laughs> that no, was fast. I think they that said... was the second best line of the <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> the Ukrainian American string band poised at the starting line, ready to uh, move into their theme of it in the bag. We say we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> <We're here>. <laughs> <We> <laughs> the captain, George Caresco <laughs> Jr., the theme that's in the bag. And uh, this is his fifth year as captain. First march with the band in 1980 at age 12. And he's been around, Joe. Yes, he has, and uh, his father, George Koreska Sr., is the president of the band, and last year's parade was dedicated to George Koreska Sr. Now, Joe, uh, again, this is a competition. We have been emphasizing this throughout the day. Give us the point system as the judges are carefully evaluating each one of these performances. Well, you get uh, 50 points for music. It's uh, broken down to 25 points for the playing of the music and 25 points for the arrangement of the music. And then you get 50 more points for your presentation, 40 for the actual show itself, and 10 for costume. The Ukrainian American String Band.
from Port Richmond, from Kensington, and from all over the Delaware Valley, and King of Prussia as well in their headquarters, the Ukrainian American String Band will return with the replay and more of the String Band competition after this. December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best sellers at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. There's still time to save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best sellers year in clearance. Drive a Ford Taurus for just $2.29 a month. The number one car in America now has dual airbag standard, and that's for just $2.29 a month. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer during the best sellers year in clearance. Hurry, it all ends January 3rd. Get 1994 off to a great start with three months of Prism for just 1994. Call 1 800 Cable Me right now for three solid months of great Prism movies and exclusive home team sports action for just $19.94. Plus a free upgrade to Prism, the great two for one channel for less than $7 a month. Three months of Prism for 1994. It's the best deal of the new year. But call 1 800 Cable Me right now because this deal ends this Saturday night. The Philadelphia Mummers String Band Association proudly presents the 1994 String Band Show of Shows, April 9th through the 17th at the Philadelphia Civic Center. Come and enjoy the music and magic of the 16 great Philadelphia String Bands. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster and at the Civic Center or by calling your local string band. The 1994 String Band Show of Shows, April 9th through the 17th at the Civic Center. Everything. And we mean everything. Is on sale right now at Silo. Plus, get 0% interest for 6 months on everything over $299.99 right now at Silo. This portion of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummer's Day Parade is brought to you in part by Prism and Garden State Cable TV, by your area Infinity dealers, and by your Meineke muffler shops. For the third year in a row, Suburban Cable is proud to bring you the Philadelphia Mummers Parade. And we're back live with the Mummers Parade for our Delaware Valley audience and our national audience on the Travel Channel. And Dick Sheeran is standing by with the replay of the last band. Dick? Yes, indeed. The Ukrainian-American string band, Larry, Captain George Koresko, Jr. First, congratulations on a fine performance. Thank you very much. We're going to run a little replay. You might be able to see it in that screen. How did you How do you think it, it went for you? Well, it's a lot of work, but I uh, felt real good going into it. So It's called In the Bag. And uh, it, it was kind of a little bit of everything, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It went from armored cars to tea bags to the bagpipers, and you saw it all right did, there. Did that present an extra challenge to do all that, all that uh, other stuff? Trying to work it all together because it's a unique theme yeah. and uh, not been done that that I know of. A lot of women in your band. Yes, yes. We probably got about 15, 20 women. In our and band. you make your own suits? All year, yep. All right, and this piece is probably one of the larger ones, isn't it? Yeah, I would think so. Took a lot of time. Captain, thank you very much. Congratulations. Happy thank New you. Year. We'll go back to the booth. Coming up next, the Greater Overbrook String Band with their theme On the Road Again and Captain Harry Hill. Give us an assessment on this, Joe Degan. It's a great theme, On the Road Again. Uh, it was done years ago by one other band. They done, had done very well with it. And uh, Captain Harry Hill, in his fourth year, is looking to... Uh, Make some history for Overbrook. Uh, they've never won a first prize. Last year they placed 16th. They have 56 marchers on the street. You'll notice the uh, captain is the driver dressed in white sequins and dark blue with red and blue turkey feathers. Here they are, Greater Overbrook String Band at the 1994 Mummers Parade.
A big round of applause for the Greater Overbrook String Band. Captain Harry Hill, who is a milkman from Deckdale's Dairy. Good job, Joe. Very interesting. A nice theme, uh, well thought out, and uh, very active. You also got a real good sense of the concept of the pit band and the perimeter band. You can see how the pit band works together without back pieces, how the perimeter band has the back pieces. The pit band is able to move a little bit more with their choreography as a result. And speaking of choreography and the captain and all the hoopla in the post-performance stage, here is Dick Sheeran standing by for a little replay action, Dick. Uh, captain Harry Hill, uh, Larry, he's just kind of making his way over here. Captain, we can just uh, see you for a couple of minutes. I know you're a little winded. Congratulations for a fine performance. By the way, that uh, truck you were uh, driving, that was uh, something else. Yes, it was. That's my semi. <laughs> Is that your semi? That's you my just, semi. Do you deliver milk, deliver milk in that? Yes, I do. <laughs> we got a little replay of your performance there. I know you're still winded, but yeah. there seems to be an extra choreography this year. Oh, yeah. A lot more this year. A lot more detail. This is the first year we worked with a, a whole lot of props, and it really looks great because uh, Oh, I just hope so. <laughs> did you did you feel like did, what did it feel like when you were going through it? Did you feel like everything was going right? Oh yeah, everything was going right all the way up the street all day long. It was just beautiful. The band did great all day. All right. And I'm telling you. All right, Captain. Thank you very much for a great job. Thank Take you. Take care. Happy New Year, happy everybody. New Year. All, all right. right. We'll go back to Harry and Pat. Joe, that is a happy and uh, tired captain. Hardworking Harry Hill, uh, he certainly did a job out there, and uh, the band also wants me to mention that John Milloway, a band member, was inducted into the Mummers Hall of Fame this year. It, you know, Joe, it has to really take a, a lot of practice to be able to fine-tune the performance so that it really does click together like the captain was talking about. We researched that, and actually it takes each band 7,000 man hours per year to put this four-and-a-half-minute show on, and that's a true number, not a Mummers number. And right now, we're standing by for the performance of the Ventnor String Band. Captain Bob McLaughlin, 55 marches, 10 marshals, the clubhouse, and the American Legion post in Summers Point, New Jersey, near the Jersey Shore. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know if you can catch it on the screen, but we're talking color here and lots of it. Beautiful pastels. The theme this year is, the st is storybook land, so you can look for Humpty Dumpty, Mother Goose, Old King Cole, and other fairy tale favorites and they're going to be flipping through a bedtime storybook. The captain, of course, dressed all in white with red and blue trim. His back piece, as you can see, in nighttime theme of moon and stars, surrounded by some 12 dozen white plumes. It is a day for plumes and color and excitement as we listen to the Ventnor String Band.
flying round of applause for the Ventnor String Band. Their clubhouse located in uh, the Clark Ellison Post 352, American Legion, Summers Point, New Jersey. And coming up, and coming up, we are going to have the replay of this band and also the Woodland String Band still ahead as we continue with our coverage of the 1994 Mummers Parade. There's a new kind of energy around here. A company that can meet your energy needs well into the next century without building even one new plant, which means no large increase in the cost of your service. A company whose oil-fired generators will also run on natural gas, another way to help keep your bill down. There's a new energy company around here, and a new name. Pico Energy, focusing our energies on you. You still have time to save thousands on Sheehy Better Idea Cars. Sheehy Volume Buying Power saves you at least $4,000 on Tempos and Topazes, at least $5,000 on Aerostars, at least $6,000 on Tauruses and Sables, at least $13,000 on Lincolns. Through Monday, January 10th only at Sheehy Ford Lincoln Mercury in Lebanon, Sheehy Lincoln Mercury in Springfield, Sheehy Ford Northeast Philadelphia, Sheehy Ford Wilmington, Delaware, and Sheehy Ford Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. Unless one of these emblems is on your car or truck, you probably paid too much. Now you can share in the color and excitement of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummers Parade by wearing the official Mummers logo apparel. It's so easy, you don't even have to leave your front row seat. Simply call the operators here at John Wanamakers who are standing by to take your order for the official 1994 Mummers Parade sweatshirts, polos, t-shirts, and caps. This cozy Mummers sweatshirt at just $15 is perfect for parade watching or just going casual with class. The stylish polos are a terrific gift idea for just $15, along with these all-cotton t-shirts, yours for only $12, and this 100% cotton twill mummer's hat, tailor-made for weekend softball games or the golf course, is just $10. You can purchase this collector's clothing using Visa, MasterCard, or your gold Wanamaker's charge plate. So start the new year in style by calling 1-800-955-0020. Happy New Year and welcome everyone once again to the 1994 Mummers Parade. I'm Pat Shiraki with Larry Kane and our special analyst for the String Bands Division, Joe Deegan. Joe, the first five bands that we had an opportunity to see, to witness here on the street, are really the heart and soul and the spirit of mummering and string band performances, aren't they? They're, they're here competing and they're, they're doing traditional things and uh, you'll see themes change as the day goes on and different things happen in front of us here. And we're waiting for the replay now of the Ventnor String Band with Dick Sheeran. Dick? Indeed, we have Captain Bob McLaughlin of the Ventnor String Band. First of all, Captain, nice job. Thank you very much. Did you feel good about the performance? I think we did the best we could. I think we did pretty good. All right. Let's Where take a look. Standing? Let's take a look at the replay of the uh, the actual performance. Now, you were telling me about the kids. You you wanted them to get do something. We had been working with the kids real close. They're very young kids, and uh, they wanted to be in it. And we we worked with them all year long. They, in fact, they did pretty good from what I can see. I yeah. got a block out. This is their first time. First time. All first right. Time. So you feel good about it? I think we did pretty good. Captain, thank you very thank much. You very Congratulations. Much. Happy New Year thank to you. you. All right. We'll go back to the booth. And up next, waiting to go on, the Woodland String Band. And we understand the extensive makeup this year took four hours to apply, so watch the faces when you listen to the music. The theme this year is Scared Silly. This is a parody on scary things. The captain is David E. Anderson. And the Woodland performance begins a string of about eight performances where you're going to see the competition getting tremendously intense. Woodland finished eighth last year, and the next several bands all finished within the top ten. And there is a real drive on the street to be the best that they can be. Here we have the Woodland String Band from 1994.
Performance. The Woodland String Band captain David Anderson Jr., first year as captain. His father was the captain for 29 years. He started marching at the age of three, and Joe Deegan, the makeup and the faces are just awesome and extraordinary in this band. Unbelievable. The makeup job must have taken uh, the more than the four hours they talked about. Uh, they just looked great out there. Could it fits the theme perfectly. And the multi-dimensional uh, aspects of the performance, uh, going from Frankenstein to the Munsters uh, uh, to all the witches, just incredible in there. Sure was, and one thing that band, the band did, which was good for them, is they got up very close to the judges' stand, got right in front of them. And it must be a very exciting day for David Anderson. In fact, David, Avers David Anderson is with our own Dick Sheeran as he's trying to uh, work <laughs> his way through his plumes, Dick. <laughs> yes, indeed, we have Captain Anderson. Congratulations, great job. Can we see you Thank through you. that? I think so. That's quite a makeup get a job you did yes, there. Yes, it is, yeah. Well, you, you saw the performance or you felt the performance. We got a little replay that we could uh, show you here. Why don't you just step over here so you can see the screen. You happy with the, the way things went? Oh, yeah, we're very happy with our whole year. This is we're just out here today, have a good time, celebrate the new year. This is your first uh, year as captain. Yes, it is. It was a, it, it's, it's, that's tough, isn't it? Oh. To do it the first time. Yeah, I guess so, you know. I, don't know, I had a good time. What about the theme? Uh, did you feel that the theme did serve your purpose? Sure, sure. It's scary, silly. Just out there, it wasn't a scary type of thing, just a fun type thing, something to be a little bit different. Enjoy ourselves, have a good time. A lot of stepping in this uh, in this choreography. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You want to catch your breath a little bit? <laughs> Congratulations. Happy Thank New you. Year to you. Great Thank job. You. We'll see you. We'll go back to the booth. Joe Deegan, this was a really competitive performance, wasn't it? It sure was. Uh, Woodland's another band who's never won first prize, but uh, they're going to be up there today. I think they really are. As compared to uh, some of the other performances that we've seen in the past, they really did a tremendous job. Coming up next, we have the Uptown String Band, and Uptown has a terrific story all on its own, Joe. Doesn't it? The Uptown String Band, you know, they have uh, really worked extremely hard with Jamie Caldwell. Oh, Jamie Caldwell is a great young captain. Uh, he's in his fourth year, and he won a third prize for captain in 92 and a second prize in 93. So he really does his homework, takes if, his dance lessons seriously. And if you're watching on the Travel Channel uh, deep in the heart of uh, Texas today, or anywhere in the southwest of the United States, you'll be able to relate to what's going on here because... The Uptown String Band is going to keep its eyes looking south and west to the heart of cowboy country and to bring you a, a bit of the old west and cactus and uh, some surprises behind that bar room door uh, as <laughs> that saloon door as we continue our coverage or live coverage of the 1994 Mummers Parade. In case you've just joined us, we are broadcasting live here on Channel 3 in Philadelphia and on the Travel Channel, the 1994 Mummers Parade nonstop from 8 a.m to whatever tonight. Uh, we will, of course, uh, be off the air in time for the uh, national championship game, the Orange Bowl tonight. But right now we're watching the crowd, and the crowd is really thickened here at City Hall. And the, the signal has been given, apparently. I heard the whistle, and the Uptown String Band is beginning its 94 presentation.
the Uptown String Band from Bucks County. And, and Joe Deegan, you can understand why Jamie Caldwell finished second in the captain's competition last year when you see that energy out there. He, he, he certainly is part of the show the whole time he's out there. We'll be back with more live in the Mummers Parade and the rest of the string bands when we continue right after this. And action. The String Band Division in the 1994 Mummers Parade. And we're going to go out to Dick Sheeran, who's with Jamie Caldwell, the captain for the Uptown String Band. We are indeed, Pat. Uh, you got your breath? Got my breath. I'm I'll all tell right. you, it was a fine performance. Thank you. We thank have you. a little bit of a replay, which uh, we should be able to see here in just a moment. There you go. How do you assess the performance? Uh, I think we did a great job. Um, everybody was well rehearsed, a lot of work. and uh, what, what about the rope twirling now? That, that took quite a bit. Yeah, that was uh, something we were practicing and practicing for a while. I mean, we went, we had uh, people come in and give us uh, some hints on it and stuff. And uh, just a whole outright performance, a lot of work, and uh, choreographer did a great job. The theme, straightforward. Cowboys. Straight we were cowboys. If they didn't know we were cowboys, that's what we were. And they, I think that's pretty evident. So, Captain, thank you very much. Happy Congratulations. New Year. Happy New Year to Happy you. New Year. We'll go back to the booth. And the next up is an organization that has finished in the top three or four or five for the last 10 years in a row. Last year's number one finisher, number one in the captain's category, Big Bob Shannon Jr. And we mean big, we mean big. The Quaker City String Band. This is a cream organization, isn't it? It's the band is. to beat, that's for sure, this year. Uh, these fellas are terrific. Here they go. The Quaker City String Band from 1994.
defending champions, the Quaker City String Band. Bob Chatton Jr., a very confident captain, and we'll be joining him for his replay shortly with Dick Sheeran. Right now, we'll take this break as we return with live coverage of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummers Parade. Some people are pretty sure they're going to buy a Toyota Corolla DX until they find out the Honda Civic LX sedan gives you power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, cruise control, a tachometer, and a four-speaker stereo cassette, all standard. And the Civic saves you $1,700 over a comparably equipped Corolla. Then they tend to reverse their position. Opt for the Civic from Honda. Every New Year's Day at Methodist Hospital, we press our noses to the window and celebrate the Mummers Parade as it starts its journey up Broad Street. And then, inside Methodist, we start our own parade, celebrating with families the beginning of many more New Years as they start their journeys here. New Years, a tradition every day of the year at Methodist. Kick off 1994 with great savings on audio, video, and appliances at Circuit City's New Year's Sale. Get 0% interest for six months on select top brands. Take home this GE 19-inch TV with remote for just $189.97. And this hot point washer and dryer, an unbeatable $194.97 each. Celebrate with savings now at Circuit City's New Year's Sale. Welcome to Circuit City, where service is state-of-the-art. The Philadelphia Mummers String Band Association proudly presents the 1994 String Band Show of Shows, April 9th through the 17th at the Philadelphia Civic Center. Come and enjoy the music and magic of the 16 great Philadelphia String Bands. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster and at the Civic Center or by calling your local string band. The 1994 String Band Show of Shows, April 9th through the 17th at the Civic Center. We're back. We're back live with our expert, uh, Joe Deegan. And Joe, Quaker City was just fantastic again. Well, they were great last year, Larry, and they took first, but they're going to be tough to beat today. Let's take a look at uh, Big Bob Shannon with uh, Dick Sheeran. Uh, I'd say we, we have Captain Shannon. I'd say a great job oh, out there. As you, usual, you. Uh, we have a little replay of uh, your performance. I counted about four or five uh, changes in your costume. Yeah, it was a little tough this year, but uh, I'll tell you right now, it made it all worthwhile. The guys really worked hard. Uh, musical director Jimmy McGugan and, and Joey Damaski, our, our drill director, really did a great thing. We, we had a fine up standard. Everything was up this year. Was really what great. about the theme now? Is that there's just some? Uh, what is there a message in that theme? Or no, not really. Just, we we just we just wanted to have everybody have some fun, and uh, we had two guys this year in the Old Timers Hall of Fame. Johnny Poor and Jimmy Fox Jr. was in the, in the well, regular Hall of Fame. We're really, really happy. You're number one last year. You're the one to beat this year. We try. I, everybody should have the chance. Thank you very Thank much. You. Happy New Happy Year. year. All right, right we'll go back to you in the booth. Right now, Freylinger's String Band is getting set up, going for the gold. Their theme, a young man, 11-year-old Joseph Ferry Jr., one of the youngest players, is with Freylinger this year for the first time. And uh, they're going for the gold. That's their theme, the captain, Bill Bowen Jr. And this should be an exciting presentation. Here's Freylinger.
string band going for the gold with Captain Bill Bowen Jr. Joe Deegan, I would dare say that we may have seen one of the top five performances that we're going to see on the street today. I don't doubt that, and I heard that uh, Bill Bowen is now Nugget Bowen. And, uh, <laughs> bad enough when Fairland Your Feet should play the music. Now they're going to sing and try I, to beat us. It's fabulous. That probably Great is going to have to be a new category now when the uh, band sings in harmony. They finished third last year and uh, they really yeah, have been Dick uh, working going to try to corral the California captain right now after a spectacular performance by the Fairland Your Spring Band. Dick? Just get your breath a little bit. Great job out there. Thank you very much. Great theme. It got you to play all oh, them golden slippers. Golden slippers. That's the song was that, we haven't played in a long time. Was that the whole idea? Yeah, basically. All right. Take golden a, slippers and happy days. Okay, take a look at that replay if you can see the screen over there. Uh, everything go well for you, you think? Looking right this morning. Was, hey, what a, was there anything with a special challenge that, that you had to overcome? The only challenge that we had today, we lost a dear member back in February, Buddy Ray Jr. He was turned 23 passed away suddenly and uh, we dedicated today to him and I know every member every 120 guys there had it in their hearts well I'm sure his spirit was certainly with you yes it was captain congratulations new thanks new a lot day. happy new year Thank to you, you very much. we'll see you we'll go back up to the booth and we're standing by for the Polish American string band you know Joe there seems to be a, uh, a definite there's always a theme of Americana here but today we've got California we've got Texas really stretching across the country we're traveling we? the whole country aren't we we are Polish American String Band uh, standing by with Captain John Sequoia. His friends call him Zach. It is his first year as captain, and that's always got to be a very exciting and challenging role for someone to try to fill someone else's shoes and succeed in uh, success. That's right. Polish American has a history of great marching captains, and it's an honor to be the leader of this band. And uh, we feel Zach would do a pretty good job of it. He replaces Stan Magenta, who had retired after four years at the front of the band. Today's theme is Boys and the Hood. It's Robin Hood and his Merry Men, set in Sherwood Forest. You're going to see friars and peasants and woodsmen, and of course a castle. Joe, from your point of view, what elements do you think really come together on the street to be able to make for a winning, top-performing band? Well, you pick a theme, Pat, and uh, you get an idea, and you get the music first, and then the costuming, and oh, there it goes. The music and the costuming and uh, the choreography and put it all together when it all fits is the winner. Is that confetti part of the act here? I don't know about that. <laughs> know that's that the first time from. I've seen that in the Mummers Parade. <laughs> oh, that's new as of the last couple of years. Hey, it's kind of exciting. It may be the new Polish embassy building over there. I don't know. <laughs> A the pride of, parade. The pride of Port Richmond. The Polish American String Band. 1994.
the Polish American string band, Boys and the Hood. Certainly one of the most colorful, uh, dynamic presentations we've had today, Joe. It was that, and a great job by Captain Zach in his first year. You think he's kind of nervous? I'm sure he was coming in there. Well, he'll be, we'll find out in just a minute as Dick Sheeran awaits the captain. Just watch out for that sword, Dick. The captain's got a long sword out there today. <laughs> Dick Sheeran standing by for the replay, Dick. We're going to have to give you a chance to get a breath here. Uh, Larry says, watch out for that sword. Uh, you were doing a job out there. Uh, we're trying to do our best, everybody. I'll tell All you, we're, we're going to show everybody. you... We're going to show you a little uh, replay of the uh, performance. All right, okay. How did it feel for great, you? Great, great. My first year too. A lot of help from everybody. The band members, the marshals, family, everybody. I'd like to thank everybody. It was great. It was my, my first year New Year's, it was beautiful. So, Everything went perfect up the street. You really felt it, huh? I felt I, it. It's there. We're bringing it home. All right. We're bringing it home to Port you're, Richmond. You're about due for a first you're, place. You got that right. We're bringing it home. Captain, thank you so thank much. You Watch out for the sword. Everybody <laughs> in Port Richmond, stole on. Oh, there you go. Stole on, Larry. And <laughs> <laughs> the pride of Port Richmond. You know, uh, Joe, uh, he looked pretty confident, didn't he? He sure did. I guess he wasn't nervous. He had his act together and it showed. Really did. And we're standing by for the Peter Brumall String Band, uh, whose theme this year is Cornucopia. 64 musicians, 25 marshals, music director Tom Gorzinski, and uh, this should be quite a, uh, a look at uh, Aqua. Uh, we've got a, a, a color of uh, turquoise there and white. And so many plumes on the captain's back pieces. I always think that this is fascinating to take note of. In some cases, these back pieces have 50 dozen plumes. Isn't that right, Joe? That's true, and it's a very, very big investment uh, to use those plumes, and uh, that's why sometimes you see bands wearing fewer back pieces each year, but the uh, room rollers pretty well decked out with their feathers. To show you the regional uh, atmosphere of this, uh, of this parade, for those of you watching nationally, uh, this organization is uh, from National Park, New Jersey which is in the South Jersey area, across from Philadelphia. Uh, more and more we see a regional look at this parade, not just the city of Philadelphia, but people coming from all over the area. That's very true. We draw from all areas in and around Philadelphia. Peter A. Brumall String Band, Cornucopia, 1994, and here they go.
Peter A. Bruma String Band with Cornucopia. Doing a terrific job, especially with some of the young people right up front in their chorus line. Great to see those young people involved in this parade. They're the future of uh, Mummery in the Philadelphia area. And I'm Larry Kane, along with Pat Chiraki and Joe Deegan, and we'll return right after this for more live, non-stop coverage of the 1994 Mummers. Get 1994 off to a great start with three months of Prism for just 1994. Call 1-800-CABLE-ME right now for three solid months of great Prism movies and exclusive home team sports action for just $19.94. Plus a free upgrade to Prism, the great two-for-one channel for less than $7 a month. Three months of Prism for $19.94. It's the best deal of the new year. But call 1-800-CABLE-ME right now because this deal ends this Saturday night. December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best-sellers at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. There's still time to save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best-sellers year in clearance. Drive a Ford Taurus for just $2.29 a month. The number one car in America now has dual airbag standard, and that's for just $2.29 a month. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer during the best-sellers year in clearance. Hurry, it all ends January 3rd. When I got pregnant with Timmy 10 years ago, we almost chose not to bring him into the world. We were young and unmarried. We didn't have much money, and at the time it seemed like the right decision. But now, every time I look at him, I can't imagine life without him. Life, what a beautiful choice. This portion of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummer's Day Parade is brought to you in part by McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. By Pico Energy, there's a new kind of energy around here. By American Honda, who has been making quality cars in America for the past 11 years. And by Prism and Greater Media Cable TV. If you are just joining us, you are watching the 1994 Mummers Parade live from Center City, Philadelphia. We welcome all of you who are from across the country with the Travel Channel who might be tuning us in. You are watching the String Band Division. And for a replay on the Brumall String Band, and with the captain, here's Dick Sheeran. Captain Peter A. Brumall Jr., how do you assess that performance? It felt, it felt good from here. Yeah, it was a good, uh, good job. We were very satisfied with that performance. Let's take a look at the replay. How about the kids in front, the, the uh, newsboys and the uh, newsgirls? They're uh, all members of the band. They uh, go to the local uh, grammar school and uh, the high school, junior high school, senior high school. And how about your dad still in the band? Yeah, my dad was the police officer bringing us up through the line. Okay, what about that theme? Uh, anything, did, did something just strike you to do that theme? or? Uh, that was about our third choice. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to do something a little different. Uh, that's why we came up with that uh, theme, Cornucopia, which just means the corner of plenty. And we just kind of picked some things that you would typically see on a corner in New York. Captain, thank you very I much. I just want to say New happy New Year to everybody. And hello, Josh, Ryan, and Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. We'll go back to the booth. Hi, Mom. That's the message today. Uh, <laughs> we, we're Joe Deegan and Pat Chiraki. I'm Larry Kane, and we're standing by for the Aqua String Band. And this could be a controversial presentation and successful as well. We'll find out. Aqua's always different. They come up with uh, really neat themes every couple of years. This may be one of them. Aqua's in the habit. Watch carefully.
Steve Morris and the Aqua String Band, and the band, of course, said that they consulted with some nuns, Joe, <laughs> prior to the performance to make sure it was in good taste, and they even offered some suggestions, and they were very enthusiastic about the theme. In fact, it's such a great sister act, I think even Whoopi Goldberg would be very proud. They didn't talk to the nuns that taught me in St. Columbus, I know that. <laughs> I don't know. I know quite a few nuns. I think they'd probably get a big kick out of it. In fact, you know, if they want to offer themselves uh, for charity events, <laughs> I bet there might be a few places, a few churches that might hire them. That could be the rage. <laughs> By the way, we have a breaking development in the midst of this Mummers Parade. Comic Division, order of finish. The Murray Comic Club, number one, once again. Murray was the defending champion last year, and it has once again finished first. Fural, number two. Good timers third, and Landy will be happy with a fourth place finish. Liberty in fifth. And uh, here are the Comic Division captains finish. Mike Ionelli of Murray, Nicola Mize, Tom Ross of Landy in second place. Maybe a surprise there for Tom, and congratulations to Landy. William Wooden Sr. from Good Timers, Chip and, Watts from Hammond. And uh, Larry Maneri from Pural, and Bill Dunleavy from Liberty. Now, the Comic Division Brigade finish. Uh, Invention of the Wheel from the Liberty uh, division, the Liberty uh, Organization, Plumbers, Plumber Mummers, which we really enjoyed from Good Timers. We, uh, we called that. We knew that that would be real high up. And, and, then, and Tom Earl and his friends at Geppetto's Workshop and the Good Timers. Excellent. Good Timers. We had a great showing. And then from the Floats Division, it's a small world with Good Timers once again. The Dinosaur of the Lehigh Valley, Good Timers, and also Circus Comes to Town, Good Timers. So Good Timers did a great job with the brigades and the floats. Good time for the Good Timers on this New Year's Day, and uh, just finished the Aqua String Band. And standing by with the captain and the commander, Steve Morris, is Dick Shearer. Dick? We are with the captain, who's all, right. all decked out as Mother Superior. Yeah. Did you go to Catholic school? Yes, I did. did. Uh, are you going to take a ribbon from the... Your uh, old no, the good sisters from St. Williams up in Longcrest. I hope they love the performance. <laughs> Let's take a look at the uh, replay. How did it feel for you? Oh, great. It's it's very confident. It's, very confident. It seemed like it was extra physical for you as captain. It was. It I was. mean, the normal. Yeah, but it, it's the type of music you really get into and you really enjoy doing it. And it's uh, the, the finale song with I Will Follow Him. Right. It was such a moving song and in the audience and everything. Just, you can't help but keep just, moving. Just got you lifted, oh, didn't yes. it? How about the penguins? Are they dynamite? <laughs> Captain, thank you very uh, much. Great job. Pleasure, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year Good to luck. you and everyone. Thank, thank you. you we'll, go, we'll go back to the booth. Okay. Well, right now, we are live in Philadelphia, but the band that's coming up is heading for the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin, Ireland in March, and we're talking about the Avalon String Band. I think this is kind of fun, too. Uh, oftentimes, you think that Avalon, that the Avalon, was the band itself, was born in the southern Jersey community that is called Avalon, but it's actually because of a cigarette that was popular at the time that the club was founded, right, That's Joe? right. Most people do think it's New Jersey, but uh, you have the right story there. Avalon is uh, the, the four band. They've had four fours in a row, and uh, they've been in the top ten the last uh, ten years since they reorganized, and they're trying to go up that four today and get up to one. The Here's theme the today? Alakazam. It is. Avalon presents Alakazam with the captain, Michael Patrick Vaughn. Michael is a uh, Springfield, Delaware County police officer. The eighth year leading Avalon up the street. Both his father and brother are also marching in the band. Michael took fifth prize as captain in last year's parade. 67 marches, 50 marshals. Here is Avalon.
tremendous round of applause for the Avalon String Band. Maybe the biggest round of applause we've had so far. I believe so. They sure are a crowd pleaser, and uh, I understand why. They're great. We will have an instant replay coming up right after we take a break as we continue with the 1994 Mummers Parade. We're out of here, too, for a moment anyway. You invited me to lunch. I did? Honey! Cousin Dave's here for lunch! He is? Yeah. Oh, Ed. Cousin Dave, we got a little problem here. No lunch, huh? Well, we can go to Wendy's. Yes! Luckily, Wendy's has a 99-cent super value menu with delicious junior bacon cheeseburgers, chili, baked potatoes, and biggie fries. And for just $1.99, get our hamburger kids meal. We gotta have lunch here all the time. We do. <laughs> we do! <laughs> Wendy's, you don't pay more, you just get more. If you've waited till now to get a great year-end deal on a new car, you win! Because during the huge holiday happening at your Hyundai dealer, you can get savings up to $1,250 on a 94 Hyundai. While quantities last, buy a brand new 94 Elantra sedan with the driver's airbag for just $92.49 after rebate. Plus, make no down payment and no payments till spring. But hurry, because the huge holiday happening ends January 4th. So for huge savings, no down payment and no payments till spring, see your nearest Hyundai dealer today. Now you can share in the color and excitement of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummers Parade by wearing the official Mummers logo apparel. It's so easy, you don't even have to leave your front row seat. Simply call the operators here at John Wanamakers who are standing by to take your order for the official 1994 Mummers Parade sweatshirts, polos, t-shirts, and caps. This cozy Mummers sweatshirt at just $15 is perfect for parade watching or just going casual with class. The stylish polos are a terrific gift idea for just $15, along with these all-cotton t-shirts, yours for only $12, and this 100% cotton twill mummer's hat, tailor-made for weekend softball games or the golf course, is just $10. You can purchase this collector's clothing using Visa, MasterCard, or your gold Wanamaker's charge plate. So start the new year in style by calling 1-800-955-0020. We're back with the 1994 Mummers Parade, a beautiful picture of one of the vistas of Philadelphia, of the Schuylkill Expressway area, and we are still in the um, afterglow, if you will, of the Avalon String Band. Joe, uh, great performance. Do you think they'll be up there? Was the choreography strong enough? Uh, Avalon will be up there. Uh, they're competitive, and uh, that's what it takes. You must be competitive, and one-third of the bands are always competitive, and it's still subjective. You gotta have to please those guys out there with those tape recorders who are taking notes on what's going on. The man of the hour, Michael Patrick Vaughn, the captain, who's standing by now with Dick Sheeran. Dick? We got him, Larry, with his scepter of power. Captain, nice job out there. Thanks, Dick. How Thanks. did it feel as we look at a replay play of your performance that you just did right here on Broad Street. I'll tell you, it felt fabulous. Everything went right the whole way up the street. It was probably the smoothest walk we had at Avalon. And uh, a little wind there towards Center City, but it, it didn't slow the band down. How about the back piece? Did that affect you at all? I nah, mean, not really. You know, it's you get used to it as part of the job. Now, what about that theme? That was a pretty popular uh, uh, movie this year. Oh, yeah, that was great. I mean, that's an easy one to do. I mean, that's uh, my favorite movie I've ever seen, you know, and, and to get to play that part and some of the characters and the music. It was just fantastic. I know all the kids out there are going to love it. Indeed. Thank you, Captain. Congratulations. Happy Thank New you. Year Thank to you. you too. All right. We'll go back to the booth. The Krang's Crane String Band is standing in the wings. And they're from Bridesburg, which Aqua and Furco also call home. It is the two street of Northeast Philadelphia. And we are now presenting live the 1994 Mummers Parade. The Crane String Band presents What's Up, Doc?
band, finishing seventh last year, certainly trying to improve their position this year with their theme, What's Up Doc? And Ray Wisniewski, who is the captain, he's six years captain. Real trailblazers back in 1976, they were the first string band to admit women, is that right? Uh, That's Joe? true, they were uh, back in the Was there a lot of controversy then? Actually, it was handled by the courts before it got to Crean. Uh, <laughs> uh, Crean is really one of the up-and-coming bands in the past couple of years. They're probably the most improved. They got into the top ten last year, and I feel they'll be there again this year. And right now, Dick Sheeran is uh, standing by with uh, the man behind What's Up, Doc, this year. Well, He's moving into his area. <laughs> Larry, we're waiting for the doctor. Here, Here he, he comes. comes. Uh, Captain Wisniewski. <laughs> You're the zaniest doctor I've okay, seen. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nice job. Great. Uh, we're going to re replay a little bit of your performance here. Uh, you might be able to watch the screen there. Uh, you've had a you had a few changes you had to make there. Yes, we did. We did. But we did go. We made perfect day for great. Really? Great day for great. Did everything go as planned? Every time we did it up the route, it got better and better. Really? So by the and time you got here to the judges' stand, it, it was felt the best. real good. It was the best. Any reason for the theme this year? No Did you run into any uh, President Clinton's health plan? No, it was nothing to do with Hillary or anything like that. <laughs> Captain, thank Thanks. you very much. Get well, Joe. Get oh. well, Joe. All right, there's a message to Joe, Larry and Pat. Captain, we'll see. All right. That's a happy captain. Oh, it sure is. You know, the um, when you look at the mummers on the street, you know that they do it because it's a really fun hobby for all of them. They come from so many different walks of life. They put together their performances for the viewers at home, as we do here as we sit in the booth and work with all of our wonderful staff with this uh, Mummers Parade production. We received hundreds of cards and letters from our viewers last year, and there were many helpful suggestions that we heard. So we encourage you to drop us a line and let us know what you think of the Mummers Parade and also our coverage. We thank you for that, and you can write to us at the Mummers Parade Productions, 100 Penn Square East, 9th Floor, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19107, and we would love to hear from you, even if you're out in Tucson, Arizona. If you're watching in Boston today on the Travel Channel and our live broadcast, uh, Joe Deegan, a lot of these uh, string bands go all over the country. They're going to go to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in March. We're talking about the Trilby Spring String Band, and the string bands are really traveling these days. A lot right? of our bands play uh, all through the New England states. It's a way for them to earn money? It's a way to earn money to pay for these costumes you're seeing today. It's quite a big... Quite a big expense. Joe, on average, what does a string band have to pull together in order to be able to put a good performance on the street? How much money do they actually need? $40,000, $50,000, $60,000? $60,000 for four and a half minutes in the sunshine, in the spotlight. And it's certainly a lot of work all year long for the magic moment. And it's the heart's got to be beaten right now, right? It's a big moment for everybody in the string band today. Trilby String Band. Here they go.
some hot cats from the Trilby String Band with their I like that uh, pink Chevy. I guess a pink Chevy. Oh. You, you know, know uh, Trilby reorganized this year. Uh, Ronnie King is the new captain, his first year, and his brother Joe King is the president. Joe we'll be King, back. The president of the we'll be back with more on our live coverage right after this. December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best sellers at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. There's still time to save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best sellers year in Clarence. Drive a Ford Taurus for just $2.29 a month. The number one car in America now has dual airbag standard, and that's for just $2.29 a month. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer during the best sellers year in Clarence. Hurry it all ends January 3rd. Get 1994 off to a great start with three months of Prism for just 1994. Call 1 800 Cable Me right now for three solid months of great Prism movies and exclusive home team sports action for just $19.94. Plus a free upgrade to Prism, the great two for one channel for less than $7 a month. Three months of Prism for 1994. It's the best deal of the new year. But call 1 800 Cable Me right now because this deal ends this Saturday night. I can take care of myself in the ring, but in my car, I've got to protect a lot more than just my pretty face. Like, George, 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 and George. That's why I trust my brakes to Monarchy. They're experts, so I get high quality service at a low price. Heck, with all these Georges, I can use that extra money for food. Now more than ever, at Monarchy, you're not going to pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. I guarantee it. Since 1904, the Bellevue has been as much a part of the Mummers Parade as golden slippers and dueling banjos. 1994 is our 90th anniversary, and your opportunity to see why every occasion is a special occasion at the Bellevue. Starting today, we're offering a limited number of our elegant rooms for just $90 a night. Reserve now by calling 215-893-1776 and see why at 90, the Bellevue is better than ever. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Larry Kane with Pat Chiraki and Joe Deegan, our string band expert and veteran string band member. And we're here at the 1994 Mummers Parade. And we're going to go back out on the street with our pal Dick Sheeran, who is with Ron King from the Trilby String Band. Take yes, a look at the performance. We have the top cat himself, Captain. Great job. Thank you. Take Thank a you look at much. the replay of your performance here of uh, kind of a cat theme. Did everything go as planned? Uh, sure did. We worked very hard. We had a lot of obstacles to overcome this year. And uh, the membership really came through for us. And what I'm looking at looks absolutely fabulous. I hope we do well. Oh, great. This is your first year as captain, so that's got to be real. Yeah, great. it is. And i got to tell you, what an honor to work with these people and march in front of them. They're a fabulous group and uh, very good musicians, guys and gals alike. So you sound pretty confident. You might have a shot here. Oh, I hope so. We've, uh, from the very beginning of the day, it was just a very good day for us. All right, Cap, congratulations. Happy New Year Thank to you. you. Very much. We'll go back to the booth Happy right now. We'll Thank you, up. Dick. When you uh, get off of uh, I-95 northbound on Cotman Avenue and you drive off, you can't miss the headquarters of the next organization, the Greater Kensington String Band, your home organization. This is the second light off of 95, and a magnet draws you there. That's your place, right? It's the, that's where I call home. Greater Kensington String Band.
Captain Scott Moyer and the Greater Kensington String Band and uh, a special year for Greater Kensington and also some memories, Joe, right? Yes, sad thing for the band, Lowry. Uh, the band dedicates their performance to Liz Tillotson, the band choreographer. Her husband, Ray, passed away suddenly this week. This one's for you, Liz. We love you. Greater Kensington, and we'll check on the replay and more live activity from City Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right after this. You've seen these. Glasses that lighten and darken automatically. So had infinity. That's why the rear view mirror in the new Q45 uses electrochromic technology to lighten and darken automatically for glare during night driving. So you don't have to think about it. Visit your Infinity showroom, and when you're ready to buy a luxury car, you won't have to think about that either. Now lease one of the world's most advanced automobiles with no down payment and no first month's payment. The Penn Jersey Mummer String Band Association wishes everyone a happy and healthy 1994. Member bands of the Penn Jersey Association are located in South Jersey, Metropolitan Philadelphia, and Bucks County, and are available for performances in parades, concerts, weddings, and parties. If you are interested in having one of our bands perform at one of your functions or parades, please contact us at 215-535-0604 or 609-266-1283. There's a new kind of energy around here. An energy company that's doing everything it can to help protect your air and your rivers. In fact, it's one of the few in the country that already exceeds those tough new clean air standards and won't have to spend a lot of money on new equipment to help preserve your environment. They planned ahead. There's a new energy company around here and a new name. Pico Energy, focusing our energies on you. There are some things that money can't buy. Infinity believes safety should be one of those things. That's why every Infinity includes standard not only ABS and dual airbags, but automatic seatbelt pretensioners to help snug the belt around you as the airbags deploy. From their least expensive G20 to their most luxurious Q45. Would a visit to your Infinity showroom be in order? I think that's safe to say. Now lease the stunningly advanced Q45 with no down payment and no first month's payment. And here we are, live at the Mummers Parade, Larry Kane with Pat Chiraki and Joe Deegan. And we are going to go out on the street with Dick Sheeran and the captain for the Greater Kensington String Band, Scott Moyer. We have the captain in all his splendor and your, uh, and your planes as well. Yeah, nice job playing. out there. Thank this you. was a Thank very you. ambitious uh, theme as we look at the uh, replay here, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. A lot of hard work and time went into it. But it, it seemed to have fallen into place. You had yeah. A lot, of, a lot of extra props. We've had a lot of props. A lot of work going up the street, getting in the right uh, places, but it seemed to fall in the right place. As much as I see, yeah. You felt good. There was some wind kicking up as you came up, uh, didn't you? A little about? bit, yeah. A little, it's, it started concerning us a little bit with our uh, high props, didn't, but we seemed all right. Didn't affect it? No, I don't think so, as much uh, as I see. All right, good luck to you. Thank right, you very thank much, Cap. Happy New Year to you. Can I just say one more thing? You sure can, real quick. Liz, this one was for you. Thank you very much. All we right. understand. We'll go back to the booth. What an emotional day, huh, Joe? Yeah, I mean, it's this tough. is your really this is your home band and uh, Liz worked so hard for the band to get these guys ready for that and uh, had this personal tragedy is very hard to accept mm, certainly is well it is it is part of what the Mummers family is all about though with um, all the men and women who are part of the Mummers family getting together and also giving that loving support isn't it that's true and I, I, I wonder too if the people across the country know who these Mummers really are you know that they're working people day in and day out and they do this once a year just for the fun of it they sure do and uh, now they know, and they are introduced to the 1994 Mummers Parade, a spectacle on the streets of Philadelphia. Coming up, the South Philadelphia String Band. The theme this year is going to New Orleans, gonna see the Mardi Gras. Oftentimes they compare this day here in Philadelphia with the Mardi Gras, but I think it's actually better, don't you, Joe? Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Our captain is Bill Baronato. He's been watching with South Philadelphia since 1974. This is his fifth year as captain. We have the South Philadelphia String Band.
string band they really opened this performance in such a big way with a lot of energy joe a real crowd pleaser uh, south philly was uh, 11th and 93 marching fourth and uh, they're going to move up this year i think joe tell me when it, it when a band is a big crowd pleaser like this how much influence does that have over the judges have you found over the years we never could pinpoint whether it does or not uh, we kind of think that it must have some influence but it also helps the members just put more effort into what they're doing. Really does pump them up. It has Certainly, to. Certainly, sure. Dick Sheeran is uh, live out on the street with Bill Baronado himself. We, we've got the cat. He's a little winded here right now. We're going to leave you catch your breath. Thank you. You see, you were always out front, always on stage. This was very strenuous for Captain. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, past in, well, from past time. Yeah, well, a little bit, yeah. The the fun look at a replay is, uh, there's, there's the performance. Uh, as you good. look at it, I mean, oh, beautiful. everything went the yeah. way you so it. far, as so far as I can tell. Okay, this theme is very kind of close to mummery in a way. That well, in a way, it's like a Mardi Gras, and, and the Mardi Gras and the Mummy Parade have a lot to say, a lot in common. So that and, gave uh, you a chance to play some really well, that's one great tunes. It was one of the factors in picking the theme, the fact that we could play things that people didn't like. Well, the crowd certainly they did seem, like it. It seems so. I hope the judges liked it as much. Gavin, thank you very I much. Happy New Year. Yes, sir. You said hi to my children, Billy and Allison. And hide about very quickly All right, Cap. Thanks okay, a lot. Thanks Take a lot, care. Everybody. Bye bye. We'll go back to the booth. And that is certainly a proud Captain Joe. Uh, Duffy String Band is next. And uh, you see it is shaping up as a three way competition, or would you rather not comment at this point? I'd rather not say. <laughs> I have my own opinions, but I'd better keep them to myself. Duffy String Band coming up with uh, Ted, uh, Ted Kudrick. And uh, Ted is the captain there. 60 marchers in this string band. Very impressive. And I can tell you this much. The crowd seems very caught up with the uh, the themes this afternoon, and what what's disparate here? The fact is, there's a tremendous difference between the crowd reaction and the judges' reaction, isn't there, Joe? At one time, the judge a crowd reaction was part of the judging criteria. I don't believe it's as important to the judges now as it was then, but it's certainly important to the bands. Judges are standing by in a trailer just next to ours, very <laughs> enclosed and secretive. Well, they're also out there in the in the street with the tape recorders taping their comments as bands uh, are performing right there in front of them. Oh, that is that new? Uh, last two years, I guess. And you think, that's, you think that's good? 
it's more accurate. They're right out there. They can see uh, the music up, up close, and they can see the quality of the costuming and so on. Okay, we're about to get Outback Jack and his wild pack from the Duffy String Band. That rhymes. And uh, the Duffy String Band uh, practicing now uh, for months for this moment. They're 18th in the order of parade this year. They're hoping for a better finish than they did last year. Uh, their clubhouse is located near Cedar and York in the Fishtown neighborhood of Philadelphia. Originally named the Firefighters String Band, it was formed as Engine Company No. 22 near 2nd and Pine Streets. All its members were either firemen or auxiliary firefighters. And you know, without Henry Kunzik Sr., there would not be a Duffy String Band. Henry Kunzik Sr., the leader of this band for many, many years, his stepson is the captain. Generally, when we talk about a mummer, we tell you he's been marching since he was a toddler and his father and grandfather came up the street before him. It could make you think you almost have to be born a mummer, but that's certainly not the case. For example, 22-year-old Nicole Young is coming up the street with the Berlin String Band. She already has this this time. It was the first band out during the parade. It's not only the band's first time in the parade, it's Nicole's as well. Nicole Young is a student at Camden County College majoring in nursing. She lives in Sicklerville, New Jersey with her family and not one of them has ever marched in the Mummers Parade until now. Nicole says being the first wasn't difficult at all. I got started in the Mummers about six years ago. I first came out to the club with my boyfriend Andre. Um, he just brought me out New Year's Eve uh, to meet everybody and to see the costumes and so forth. And ever since then, I've been hooked. <laughs> this time, I'm going up the street. Um, I've just pretty much uh, worked on the costumes and gone to the socials and stuff. And this year will be the first year that I'm going to march up the street. I'm going to be dancing. Being a mummer in the Berlin String Band, anyway, it's like a, being part of a family. Everybody is friends, and we all um, socialize, you know, in and outside of the club also. So. Um, it's just a great bunch of people. They're really nice and they're really friendly and it's like my family. As I get ready to come up the street for the first time, um, all I feel is just real excitement. Um, I'm real excited to go down. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun doing it. And Berlin did very well. You know, it's interesting, Joe, the youth movement that we see here today, all, not only the toddlers and the teenagers, but the people in their 20s. Mummers really need that. They need it uh, desperately, and uh, they really need banjo players now. Banjo players? Yes. Yeah. So if you're a banjo player, stand by. Maybe Duffy String Band or one of the other 21, 23 string bands or two that are not competing this year will want you. Duffy's uh, theme this year is uh, secret to us at this point, but uh, it's Outback, yeah, Outback Jack and his wild pack. And uh, there's something very interesting here. Look at that, that uh, flag in the back. We're really traveling all over the world today, are we? We've been there. Australia, California, Texas.
Mike. The Duffy String Band performing with Ted Kudrick as the captain. You're watching live coverage of Channel 3 and the Travel Channel of the 1994 Mummers Parade. Coming up next, the Hegeman String Band and a replay of Duffy with all their gators here on the street. When we return live right here. And action. McDonald's Egg McMuffin Sandwiches. They don't really do anything, but they taste really good. And starting this Tuesday, you can get two of them for just $2. And cut. Thanks, guys. That was great. The surface of a strange distant planet? No, two tantalizing McDonald's Big Mac sandwiches. Starting this Tuesday, you can get them both for just $2. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Deep in the remote jungle? Nope, two Big Macs for $2. You mean you forgot already? Get 1994 off to a great start with three months of Prism for just 1994. Call 1 800 Cable Me right now for three solid months of great Prism movies and exclusive home team sports action for just $19.94. Plus a free upgrade to Prism, the great two-for-one channel for less than $7 a month. Three months of Prism for $19.94. It's the best deal of the new year. But call 1-800-CABLE-ME right now because this deal ends this Saturday night. December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best sellers at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. There's still time to save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best seller year in clearance. Drive a Ford Taurus for just $2.29 a month. The number one car in America now has dual airbag standard, and that's for just $2.29 a month. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer during the best seller year in clearance. Hurry it all ends January 3rd. Eastern College, a proud supporter of the 1994 Mummers. Call about the Eastern College Degree Completion Program. This portion of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummers Day Parade is brought to you in part by Silo, where low prices are guaranteed, by Prism and Jones Intercable, and by John Wanamakers. Happy New Year, everyone, as we welcome you back to the 1994 Mummers Parade from Philadelphia. This is a really very special day that we have had since very early on this morning as we've watched the comics come through and the beautiful fancies. And then, of course, the wonderful sounds of the string bands. And still ahead, we have the fancy brigades that will be closing out our day of coverage. And what a dazzling show that's going to be. We're going to go to a replay now with Dick Sheeran standing by with the captain of the Duffy String Band. Dick, how are you? Oh, we're doing great, Larry. We have Captain Ted Kudrick, first of all. Nice job out there. You were a little winded there when you got here, but that's expected. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is a tough one to do, isn't it, Australia? Yeah, we've never done this before. Nobody's ever done this. If we take a look at your uh, replay, you have a lot of women and children in the band, I noticed. Yes, we do. And would that present an extra special uh, problem to, or, or a challenge? To, they, they really came through for you, didn't they? Started it. And as you look at the replay, uh, everything seemed to go oh, okay? It was great. It was real great. And, and, and it felt good as you came in? Yeah, I was smiling, I was happy, just having a good time. Now, you're, not a, you're not a novice at this. You've been coming up the street for a long time. Yes, sir, 27 years now. All right, Too and then I hope you do well. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Captain. Happy, happy New Year to you. We'll go back to the booth. And Joe Deegan up next is Hegeman String Band, and the Captain, John Pignani Jr., has been doing this for a long time, hasn't he? John has been a member of the band for over 25 years and the uh, captain for nine years. And the drums are beating. The signal has been given. Now, the Hegeman String Band and it's 1994 edition. Hegeman String Band located at Bancroft Street between McCain and M McCain and Mifflin. And here they are.
band with its captain, John Pignani Jr., Cornucopia Follies, Mr. Watermelon Man himself. And John is uh, moseying over to Dick Sheeran right now, who's trying to get him to the microphone. These costumes were extremely colorful, weren't they, Joe Deegan? They sure were uh, very entertaining, and I have to say that the performance is dedicated to the captain's mother, Paula Pignotti, known as Mom Pignotti, who passed away this year. All right. And here's Dick Sheeran. Yes, Dick? indeed. We have Captain Pignotti. First of all, I want you to get your breath a little bit. That was real strenuous routine. Yeah, it was. It was kind of tough. You, but, but the theme is so colorful. All the fruits and whatnot. Well, yeah. You know, back in April, we picked this theme, and uh, we saw a lot of potentials in that. Let's take a look at the replay there. As the things go as planned, as, as so far it looks really good. This is when we're featuring our banjo section. Right. Our best things in life for free, and uh, you know everything just worked good for us. Today. That's what it, it, you feel it, don't you? I mean, well, yeah, it goes today, well. Today was very special because we dedicate that to the person that I lost this year, my mother. Yes, indeed. She's everything in the world to me. That was fun. thank you very much. Happy New Year. All right, Captain. Take care. We'll go back to the booth. And that was a spectacular performance by John and, uh, and the uh, Hegeman String Band. Very impressive performance. It certainly year. was. Uh, Hegeman was first in 92, then dropped to ninth last year, but uh, uh, you can't uh, count this one out. You really can see a difference, too, in the costuming when a costume is done by a professional as opposed to some of the homemade versions that end up being done. That's true, but most of them are done by professionals. Some are just uh, more elaborate, and it, it obviously shows. Yes, yeah, it really does. It's yeah. great. We've got a real pro coming up the street now, William Spezial, Sr., the Joseph A. Furco String Band, a band with rich in uh, mummer's history. Furco has uh, 16 first prizes over the years, and last year came in second. They lost by 15 hundredths of a point. How'd you like to be a judge? Was it that close? I didn't realize Point one that. five. If I were that judge, I'd get out of town quickly. Uh, <laughs> the theme this year is Sing Sing Swing. It's going to be a prison setting. It's a little different than what we've seen in the past few years. And uh, Bill Spezial has been uh, in this parade uh, uh, a long time. 37th Mummers Parade. is 26th with Furco. His 15th is the club's captain. Before joining Furco, he played the Bells for Hegeman. Before that, he was in the Connick Division. This is a lifelong mummer, and if you're watching nationally today, you're about to see one of the best of Philadelphia. The Joseph A. Furco String Band and the 1994 Mummers Parade were live on Channel 3 and the Travel Channel across America today. And you know, Bill has three first prize captains under his belt, 82, 85, and 88. I think it's also important to note once again that the people who are performing today are um, everyday working people involved in Average careers, uh, high-powered careers, family lives, uh, you know, they have lots of personal things to be concerned about, but they do this for fun, and they really put tremendous energy to be able to make New Year's Day in Philadelphia a spectacular day. Bill, this, in fact, is a project manager for Honeywell. This uh, band, of course, founded by Joseph Furco, a pharmacist who first marched as captain in 1915, and here comes Furco.
Joseph Furco String Band. With Bill Spezial Sr. as the captain this year, they uh, were just inches away, fractions of inches away from first place last year. They're going to give it a good shot this year. We'll be back with more right after this. There's a new kind of energy around here. A company that can meet your energy needs well into the next century without building even one new plant. Which means no large increase in the cost of your service. A company whose oil-fired generators will also run on natural gas. Another way to help keep your bill down. There's a new energy company around here. And a new name. Pico Energy. Focusing our energies on you. You still have time to save thousands on Sheehy Better Idea Cars. Sheehy Volume Buying Power saves you at least $4,000 on Tempos and Topazes, at least $5,000 on Aerostars, at least $6,000 on Tauruses and Sables, at least $13,000 on Lincolns. Through Monday, January 10th only at Sheehy Ford Lincoln Mercury in Lebanon, Sheehy Lincoln Mercury in Springfield, Sheehy Ford Northeast Philadelphia, Sheehy Ford Wilmington, Delaware, and Sheehy Ford Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. Unless one of these emblems is on your car or truck, you probably paid too much. Now you can share in the color and excitement of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummers Parade by wearing the official Mummers logo apparel. It's so easy, you don't even have to leave your front row seat. Simply call the operators here at John Wanamakers who are standing by to take your order for the official 1994 Mummers Parade sweatshirts, polos, t-shirts, and caps. This cozy Mummers sweatshirt at just $15 is perfect for parade watching or just going casual with class. The stylish polos are a terrific gift idea for just $15, along with these all-cotton t-shirts, yours for only $12. And this 100% cotton twill mummer's hat, tailor-made for weekend softball games or the golf course, is just $10. You can purchase this collector's clothing using Visa, MasterCard, or your gold Wanamaker's charge plate. So start the new year in style by calling 1-800-955-0020. Welcome back and Happy New Year once again, everyone, from Philadelphia as you are looking over the beautiful vista, the cityscape of our lovely hometown here in Philadelphia. If you are watching from other parts of the country on the Travel Channel, we are bringing you the 1994 Mummers Parade. We have just seen the Joseph Furco string band perform. We have one more string band out of the 21. And but beyond yeah, that, some excitement, some real excitement. Yes, the fancy brigades, true. the glitter, the glamour. <laughs> Can't wait for that. And the choreography. For, and for Dick Sheer, uh, Sheeran with uh, the, the head, the captain, the commander of the Joseph Furco String Band. Yes, indeed, Bill Spezial. He's the captain of the Furco String Band. First of all, look great. Thank you. And Thanks, the crowd Thanks. reaction was excellent. Was that phenomenal? That, that, that fires you up, pumps you up. Absolutely. That's Let's tremendous. take a look at a replay of the Love performance. It. Thank you. This was very ambitious, wasn't it? Danny? It was a challenge, very ambitious. We took some chances on the scaffolding, on the height to get up high. We wanted a couple extra levels of elevation. And uh, hope, hope we came across with it. But as you look at it, it seemed to fall into place. Oh, it was fine. We had no problems at all up the street. None, none whatsoever. And you've been going up here a long time. This is your 37th, 37th. march? Yes, yeah. But more important, it's my 27th with Furco and 15 years as captain. That's that's what I'm most proud about. All right, Kat. Thank you very much. Good luck to you in the judging. Thank you. And happy New Year. All right, take care now. Joe Go back Deacon. To the booth. Joe Deacon's with us. Joe, uh, as we watch the Italian American string band getting ready, how would you assess? the overall performance of the bands this year. Are they, are they up with the times? Are they moving forward? I think they're up with the times and they're, uh, they're taking us all over the country. You've seen uh, quite a bit of competition. Uh, it's gonna be tough to pick a winner. You can categorize them into class A, B, and C, if you will, but uh, someone has to say, who's number one? I'm glad it's not me. And we're gonna, <laughs> me <too. laughs> we're gonna find out soon. Here it is, the Italian American String Band.
job by the Italian American String Band. Joe, is that surprising to you? No, Italian Americans, a group of veteran mummers led by Perry DiMatteo and uh, Yankee Doodle and the flag, it, it works. It sure does. What a way to be able to stir up the crowd, stir up the crowd, and what a way to end the string band competition. And we'll be back with the replay, more live coverage, and the magnificent fancy brigades as the sun... December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best sellers at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. There's still time to save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best sellers year in clearance. Drive a Ford Taurus for just $2.29 a month. The number one car in America now has dual airbag standard, and that's for just $2.29 a month. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer during the best sellers year in clearance. Hurry, it all ends January 3rd. When I got pregnant with Timmy 10 years ago, we almost chose not to bring him into the world. We were young and unmarried. We didn't have much money, and at the time it seemed like the right decision. But now, every time I look at him, I can't imagine life without him. Life, what a beautiful choice. The Philadelphia Mummers String Band Association proudly presents the 1994 String Band Show of Shows, April 9th through the 17th at the Philadelphia Civic Center. Come and enjoy the music and magic of the 16 great Philadelphia String Bands. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster and at the Civic Center or by calling your local string band. The 1994 String Band Show of Shows, April 9th through the 17th at the Civic Center. They come every year before the big game. The Clump Brothers. Clump Brothers. Super Bucket. 15 pieces of original recipe or extra tasty crispy? Original extra recipe. Crispy. Wrestle ya! But they can never choose between original recipe with 11 herbs and spices or extra tasty crispy marinated and extra crunchy. Get both. Both? And 15 piece Super Buckets are just $9.99 each. We do chicken right after you. After you. After you. After you. After you. The 1994 Mummers Parade is brought to you by the Embassy Suites Hotel at the Philadelphia Airport. The Embassy Suites Hotel, just one mile from the International Airport, can host any group from four to 400 people. For reservations and more information, call 1-800-EMBASSY or your travel agent today. Welcome back and Happy New Year, everyone, as we have just wrapped up the 21st presentation of the uh, of the string bands competition today we're looking uh, up or actually down broad street and just around the corner from us now are the fancy brigades but before we do that we have one more replay italian american string band with dick sheeran dick yeah we have captain perry dimatio of the italian american string band new year, happy new year to you cap as we look at a replay how did it feel out there for oh, you it was marvelous all day was marvelous i'll tell you the bands really worked hard this year and this is just the topping. I mean, it was great. It was great. I can't ask any more than that. Who played Sophie Tucker? Sophie Tucker was played by a lady named Mary Kosha, and she just hammed it up. The crowd loved her. <laughs> beautiful. Of course, beautiful. that's the whole idea of that's handing it up. That's the whole idea. I'll tell you, when you got crowd reaction, there's nothing wrong. It kind of lifts your spirit, it doesn't sure it? Does it makes it. you do it even sure more. It it's fantastic. It's, it's a feeling that I guess you have to be there. Well, in, in honor of being the Italian-American string band, it was molto bene. Thanks so much. <laughs> Happy New Year. We'll go back to you, Pat. Dick Sheeran with some ethnic pride here at Absolutely. the City Hall of Philadelphia. For all of us, so many people have gathered here to uh, be able to enjoy this last couple of divisions here, uh, the string band presentation and also the fancy brigades. It, it's uh, interesting, in recent years, the Mummers Museum in South Philadelphia has been the repository of most of Mummers' history. But as Tom Baldrick tells us, the String Band Association has added its own championship symbol, which is quickly becoming part of Mummer's tradition. In the National Hockey League, the traditional Stanley Cup trophy is awarded each year to the team that wins the championship. The names of the winners are engraved into the trophy, and they get to hold on to it for bragging rights until a new champion is named. You may not know it, but the string bands have had their own version of the Stanley Cup for two years now. 
It's the Philadelphia Mummers String Band Championship Trophy, and it truly is a new homegrown tradition. The idea evolved here at Pat Steaks when John Pignotti, captain of the Hegeman String Band, was eating a cheesesteak. A man noticed John's Hegeman jacket and began telling him how much he loved the string bands. The man then gave John a substantial donation. John gave the money to the String Band Association with the suggestion that the money be used to purchase a championship trophy. That idea I liked because it was something that is around, that is here, uh, and will be passed down probably long after some of us are gone. Uh, with the history behind it, they are always on the trophy. By virtue of their shocking first prize in 1992, Hegeman became the first winner of the trophy, which they received at a banquet the following spring. But last year, the defending champions fell to ninth, and one of the classiest gestures I've ever witnessed, John Pignotti walked into the Quaker City Clubhouse just moments into their victory celebration. He congratulated the new champions and handed the trophy over to their captain, Bob Shannon, there on the spot. It was a, uh, a symbol of like a Stanley Cup that the winner should get it that night. You know, you found out that you've won and you're still basically celebrating in your heart and all and you see your competition walk in the door and the first thing in your mind said, what are they doing here already, you know, or one of those. It's tough when you lose, but, um, you know, when I walked in here, I was happy for them that they won first prize and it's a great feeling. I mean, Bob said many a times that you know, every mummer should have an opportunity. It's a great feeling. So I know how happy they were because I was the same way a year before. Because it was a real, real class thing that Hegeman did. And I hope and pray to good Lord that I have the opportunity to be as classy as they were because what they did was a tough thing to do. Going into enemy grounds, if you want to say, but bringing a trophy, and I, Johnny, I, I you know, publicly, I want to say that men at Quaker City thought that was the most classic thing you could have ever done, and I think that's the sign of mummery today. It was Hageman two years ago who bucked tradition, wearing glorified tuxedos and still getting number one. Ironically, one year later, they started a new tradition, one much more positive. We just hope, and me and Bob have spoke many times about it, that we just hope that every captain or president to keep that tradition going every New Year's night. Because it's a great feeling, and they deserve it. Whoever wins deserves that. Let's have some fun with him. Since, uh, since Quaker City only wins every other year, mm -hmm. um, and this is the uh, even year, you're going to have perhaps an opportunity to do what he did. Have you thought about what that's going to be like for you if you have to do it? That's going to be tough. It will be tough, but uh, like I said, I think the band that wins uh, is going to be the best of their peers. Um, I'm going to respect it. We'll tell people after the fact that he owns a trophy business. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's a great end to that story, isn't it? It certainly is. <laughs> He's going to win either way. And we have uh, been joined throughout the afternoon with a real class act himself, Joe Deegan, who has uh, spent many years with the String Band Association, as many years as president, and uh, we want to thank you very much, Joe. Well, thank you, us, Pat and Larry, and uh, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. We'll see you next year. I hope so. Good Lord willing, and then enjoy the rest of the parade. And I have your list of predictions, which I will not release, and we'll see what happens. But I did not time. sign off on that. You know that. Not, not yet. <laughs> Take Thanks. care, Joe. Joe Deegan, thank you very much. Much. Now we're going to go out to Dick Sheeran, who is with the head of the Reading Terminal Market. Yes, indeed. We have Bill Gardner, who has the Reading Terminal Market. If the Mummers are an institution, so is the uh, Reading Terminal Market. That's right, you, Dick. You started something new last year, actually. Right. We have a new tradition here in Philadelphia. It's come to the Mummers Parade and then go to Reading Terminal Market for lunch. We had a wonderful lunch turnout today, and we're hoping that next year you'll come have lunch with us again. So oh, It goes back 100 years, That's and right. it's very much a part of the city. Right. The market's uh, 102 years old in February, and uh, we are almost complete with our major renovation project it's very exciting and of course the convention center's got the help right the convention center has uh, brought wonderful traffic for us and uh, we've uh, just had a wonderful turnout at some of our lunch businesses it's really been great so well I, I'll tell you I'm a veteran uh, patron of the Reading Terminal Market that's how I got these chins <laughs> Bill thank you very much for joining thank us you, here Dick. on our coverage of the parade next time you're in town Ready Hop on over, be there. We'll go back to you in the booth. He's a veteran, you, pa veteran patron of all Philadelphia restaurants. He's an equal opportunity eater. Dick Sheeran. <laughs> he sure is. And fancy division. We got the winners here. We sure do. Golden Sunrise came in first, Oregon second, and Hog Island third. And we have some other winners in that division. Captains, Mark Way of Hog Island wins. Dave Schuster from Golden Sunrise and David Reich from Oregon. 
They've got to be sitting in their clubhouses pretty happy oh, now. Oh, they have to be just delighted. In the handsome costume category, the goddess Kali from Golden Sunrise, Bugaboo from Oregon, and Nightmare After Christmas from Oregon. And as we continue with the fancy winners, Nature's Beauty from Hog Island and the fancy trio, Brigadoon from Golden Sunrise, and Buttons and Bows from Oregon. And then in the King Clown, King Clown category, Crystal Blowfish from Oregon, Toyland from Golden Sunrise, and the Puppet Show from Hog Island. And more fancy winners right now, End of the Rainbow from Hog Island and the King Jockey winner, Toyland from Golden Sunrise, a winner fantasy from Oregon. And then in the handsome trim category, Birds in a Gilded Cage, Oregon, Arctic Snowbird, Oregon, and Nature's Wonder, Hog Island. Fancy Division winners continue. Special mention, 1994 finish, Midnight Lightning, Golden Sunrise, Fire God, so Golden Sunrise, and Geisha God, Golden Sunrise. A sweep. Trio Pantomime Clown, Emperor Guards, Golden Sunrise, Rainy Day Clowns, Golden, or <laughs> Golden, yes, Golden Island, Hog Island, and Wish for Three Fish, Golden Sunrise. And among the juveniles, Magic Fan, Golden Sunrise, Piper of the Watch, Hog Island, and Louis the Sixth. Louis the Sixteenth, <laughs> Oregon. There I go with my Roman numerals. How about that, Oregon? You and, didn't go to Catholic school. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're standing by with the fancy brigades. And joining us today is Bob Finnegan. Bob has designed costumes for both the Polish, American, and South Philadelphia string bands. He's responsible for the presentation of six string bands and 11 of the 15 fancy brigades today. And here, for the first time, the fancy brigades beginning with the, the downtown Downtowners Fancy Brigade. So
Circus Maximus from the downtowners and uh, Mr. Finnegan. Can you believe the makeup involved there? Yes, it took four hours for each of the statues alone to be made up. It is very difficult being a top competitor and being number one, but they did not cut back in any of their production. And I think looking at it, it is phenomenal. We'll be right back after this with live continuous nonstop coverage of the 94 Mummers. The car I drive has to perform up to my expectations. It's got to be solid and safe. That's why I drive a Lincoln Town car. Sure, it's impressive, but I think I deserve a little luxury. I felt the dealer made a real commitment to me, too. And I can lease a new town car for two years for about the same monthly payment as someone buying a car on a five-year loan. So I could be driving my third new Lincoln before he's even paid off his first loan. At your Lincoln Mercury dealer, everybody wins. Every New Year's Day at Methodist Hospital, we press our noses to the window and celebrate the Mummers Parade as it starts its journey up Broad Street. And then, inside Methodist, we start our own parade, celebrating with families the beginning of many more New Years as they start their journeys here. New Years, a tradition every day of the year at Methodist. There's a new kind of energy around here. An energy company that's doing everything it can to help protect your air and your rivers. In fact, it's one of the few in the country that already exceeds those tough new clean air standards and won't have to spend a lot of money on new equipment to help preserve your environment. They planned ahead. There's a new energy company around here and a new name. Pico Energy, focusing our energies on you. Kick off 1994 with great savings on audio, video, and appliances at Circuit City's New Year's Sale. Get 0% interest for six months on select top brands. Select top brand TVs 30 inches and larger are on sale now. And this Packard Bell 486SX with monitor is just $11.49.94. Celebrate with savings now at Circuit City's New Year's Sale. Welcome to Circuit City, where service is state-of-the-art. This portion of the 1994 Mummers Parade is brought to you by Pastabilities, the parade's official homemade pasta. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year to all, everyone here in Philadelphia. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, we're live in Philadelphia. I'm Larry Kane along with Pat Chiraki. Don't forget the Orange Bowl tonight at 8 o'clock right here on this channel. Not the Travel Channel, though, joining us nationwide for the Mummers Parade as we take a look at uh, Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. And uh, we get all kinds of views today. And we also have the view from our microphone with the instant replay. And that's where Walt Hunter is right now. Walt. Well, Larry and Pat, most of us have taken the subway or the sea bus up Broad Street. But Captain Jim Julia just rode a Roman chariot. You're out of breath. Yeah, it was a, it was a lot of movement in that one. So uh, despite all the practice, we still get out of breath. What's it like zipping up in a chariot? How's your performance look? We're going to take a little look at it here in review. Well, we practiced uh, a lot of weeks for it, so uh, that's exactly what we wanted there. What you see with our barbarians who came out of the float, that was one of our, you know, uh, what they call pops. We wanted that thing to really do something for the judges. It looks good. It looks exactly what we did. Them guys worked hard. The, um, if you looked at the shields, the shields were like two by three. They were little shields to work with, and then we had to get the guys through for the finale. It, it, was, uh, it was a lot of maneuvering, but it seems to have come off pretty well here anyway. That wall was extremely impressive. Are those guys contractors, weightlifters, or both? <laughs> it was actually made out of foam. It's very light. You could have fooled me. It looked like it was solid. Well, I'll ask them it was very light, but I, I thought it was light. We had foam made in Florida. You've got a great predecessors going here. You've got three other former captains in the Hall of Fame, and you're the fourth, so. Yeah, I, I have, uh, I'm, I'm extremely fortunate that I, I got to know each one really well. Richie Herring and Bob Galvin and Billy Isaacs have all had an extreme impact on me, so I'm grateful to them. Trust we won't see you on the Schuylkill Expressway in that chariot tomorrow morning? No, I don't think those guys are going to pull it anymore. <laughs> Good luck, Jim Julia. Back to you in the booth, Larry and Pat. Okay, thank, thank you. Happy you New Year to you, Jim. And we're standing by for the next presentation, uh, Bob Finnegan, of the uh, Strutter's New Year's Brigade. Yes, the uh, captain is Tom Kenny. Uh, if you've ever had a head cold, you're going to appreciate this theme. Uh, if you need a little first aid on this day. And that's the title. A shoe. Here we go.
That's me. All right, the Strutters New Year's Brigade doing Ah Choo. Another great performance from the Fancy Brigades. Ed Cunningham here with Barbara Monaco and Bob Finnegan. And uh, we are just here, but I understand Walt Hunter is standing by as he always is. Walt? Standing by with Captain Tom Kenny. I don't want to stand too close. That might, I might get that. <laughs> no, I'm a doctor. I'll take care of you. Great. Where did you come up with the idea of Ah Choo? One of the guys in the club came up with the theme. And we just went with it and did everything ourselves. So well, I'm very proud of these guys today, believe me. It's terrific. Let's take a look at your performance. You won in 1991. Obviously, you hope it's contagious this year, I would think. I hope so. But I think we got a pretty good shot. Where did you come up with the ideas? The germs, the illness? It sounds like everything this time of year. Maybe one of the kids had the flu? No, well, one of the guys in the club came up with the idea. We went to a designer, designer designed it, researched it, and we had people get into it. How'd you find the crowds coming up? Did you get a warm reception? Everybody here was really happy. Right. <laughs> it was wonderful today, believe me. Thank felt, like, felt like a good performance? Yeah, I think so. I want to thank the guys, though. Without them, we could have never did it ourselves. Absolutely. Well, it was nothing to sneeze at, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Tom Kenny, good luck. Thanks a lot. Back to you up in the booth, Barbara. Oh, thanks a lot, Walt. That was a great performance. We're about to see another one coming up the uh, street right now. The Avenueurs New Year's Brigade Pastry Surprise. We're about to watch a French bakery come to life on Broad Street with, with performers dressed as Danish pastries, dancing dough, kitty cupcakes, croissants, fresh baked bread, and gingerbread cookies. They're all lined up, ready to go. One of the real veterans of the parade, Bob Finnegan? Definitely. They go back all the way to the 50s. In fact, this was the very first brigade I designed for 34 years ago. And I, again, am designing for it this year, 34 years later. Uh, looking at this brigade, you see as they're getting their uh, production together, they're going to have display cases for the Danish, and in the center is a nice big oven where they're going to, uh, you're going to see some dough boys coming out and uh, some stretching and rolling of the dough, and then there is a wonderful, wonderful su a surprise for the finale. And uh, again, this is a, one of the smaller clubs who has made most of everything that you see. So, uh, though they, there's lots of professional costumers out there, in fact, they had help with the bodysuits, this club is, most of what you see, the, the back pieces, the props, the sets, was made in-house. 42 marchers on the street, nine women, 10 children, 20 marshals are involved as well. They are getting ready to dazzle us right now. The 1994 Mummers Parade. Bob Fitzmaurice is the captain. He finished second among the brigade captains last year. This is his sixth year as, sixth year as captain.
like the can-can dancers popping out of the cake. Bob's wife, Joanne, is, uh, is among them. A little bit of a French flair, a French theme. And we'll be back with more of the 1994 Mummers Parade right after this. Get 1994 off to a great start with three months of PRISM for just 1994. Call 1-800-CABLE-ME right now for three solid months of great PRISM movies and exclusive home team sports action for just $19.94. Plus a free upgrade to PRISM, the great two-for-one channel for less than $7 a month. Three months of PRISM for 1994. It's the best deal of the new year. But call 1-800-CABLE-ME right now because this deal ends this Saturday night. December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best-sellers at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. There's still time to save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best-sellers year in clearance. Drive a Ford Taurus for just $2.29 a month. The number one car in America now has dual airbag standard, and that's for just $2.29 a month. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer during the best-sellers year in clearance. Hurry, it all ends January 3rd. You invited me to lunch. I did? Honey! Because it takes her for lunch. He is? Oh, Ed. Because, Dave, we got a little problem here. No lunch, huh? Well, we can go to Wendy's. Yes! Luckily, Wendy's has a 99-cent super value menu with delicious junior bacon cheeseburgers, chili, baked potatoes, and biggie fries. And for just $1.99, get our hamburger kids meal. We ought to have lunch here all the time. We do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Wendy's, you don't pay more. You just get more. This portion of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummer's Day Parade is brought to you in part by your Quality Plus Four dealers, by your Meineke Muffler Shops, by Prism and Suburban Cable TV, and by the Yingling Brewery, America's oldest brewery. Welcome back to the 1994 Philadelphia Mummers Parade. Happy New Year. I'm Barbara Monaco here with Ed Cunningham and Bob Finnegan. And we're uh, watching the parade right now. First, we have Walt Hunter with Bob Fitzmaurice, the captain of the Avenueers. How do you think he did? How does he think he did, Walt? Oh, uh, Barbara, you probably don't recognize the cupcake. That was little Bob Fitzmaurice. He's right here with us. And Big Dad, yeah, okay. Did you like the cupcake? Yeah, it was great. And here's Bob Fitzmaurice, the captain, who was running the entire show. Bob, it looked beautiful. Thank you. How'd you feel it went as you uh, take a look at the replay here? Uh, well, we ran up a little bit with the floats a little bit, but, you know, I just hope the judges like this. And it was rough here, and I hope the judges really like this. Now, it wasn't just the cupcake here and yourself. Your wife, Joanne, was one of the can-can dancers. She had to jump out of there. That looks like it's a little more difficult than it first appears. Yeah, pretty much, because the folks got done late, and we didn't have so much practice with it, but hopefully it ran well with the judges. And that's all I can say. It's what we do good. Well, I got to tell you, the group looked great, and I think the cupcake here was the best. You going to be back next year for us, Bob? All right, that's terrific. Sure, Bob, go ahead. Say hi to my ground. I love you. It get better. Say hi. I love you, Mama. All right, that's the latest. Back to you now from the Fitz Morrises and the Fancy Brigade. Okay, thanks a lot, Walt. A <laughs> nice family affair. And coming up now, we have the Golden Crown New Year's Brigade. You see them in uh, line, ready to go. Their theme is Aladdin, Arabian Night Fantasy. And Bob Finnegan is sitting here with us trying to feign Olympian indifference, but he uh, designed this one too, didn't you, Bob? Yes, I did. Uh, this is one of the top prize-winning clubs of the 80s. They have not been out of the top 10, or actually the top 5, in 13 of the 14 years and this is a type of they're very visual with their props and their costumes the captain is also one of the top prize winning captains also they want to remember their music director Tony Mar uh, Marcion who passed away this year who is the man that certainly gave them the direction in music and production for a number of years and and they're dedicating this theme to him today. But again, watch for the production. They're one of the top clubs in production. Bob, they certainly have all the elements in line here. Dancing girls, snake dancers, an evil magician, a giant genie, and of course a prince and a princess. What Aladdin story would be complete without a prince and a princess? Well, the, uh, of course, Aladdin is the captain, Bill Burke. Uh, the uh, princess is his daughter. 
and uh, also his son is involved in it and again as we say about many of the mummers clubs it's a family affair here they go Burke Jr., well, Barbara and uh, really Bob, uh, what'd you think? I think they did an excellent job. I'll tell you what dedication it is. Shafar, the evil one, had a heart attack December 6th oh. and an operation and came up in the car so he could get out and perform in front of the judges. That is what a mummer is. It's called We Do or Die. Dedication, huh? Well, we're going to see what Captain Bill Burke thought of the performance. He's with Walt Hunter right now for an instant replay and analysis. Walt. Bill Burke still stood here. Congratulations, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to take a little look at your performance. How do you think it went? I thought it went great. I was excited. Everybody was excited. Uh, I think we uh, had a little problem with the space. I, I want to apologize. I think I kicked the camera out of some lady's hand. I'm sorry. That's okay. I wouldn't worry about it. You know, 
like I said, I don't know what the judges think, but I'll tell you what, my guys are number one right now. And I hope, you know, at the end of the day, we're number one. Tell us about Jack Narkin. He was Jafar. We know he had a heart attack December 6th, and he's out here marching in front of the judges. That's, that's a magic story in itself. That's about three weeks ago. We told him that he had to stay in the van. He got out and performed. And in fact, even last night, the fellow was supposed to play our salt and Jack Walsh. He was rushed to the hospital with chest pain. So we had to make a switch there. And even our elephant called him sick this morning. So we had a really tough night. But we're glad to be here. We're glad it's over. We wish everybody a happy New Year's. And we love everybody. I always want to say, Mom, Kathy, I love you. We're number one. Very good, Bill Burke. Good luck. They sound a little like the Eagles without the AstroTurf, gang. Back to you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Walt. Now look down the street, you can see the Satin Slipper Fancy Brigade getting ready to start its performance. Their theme is Swashbuckler's Review. It's a pirate adventure with everything but Errol Flynn's sword fighting on the castle. Pirates have just looted the town of its treasure and they celebrate back at their ship, but rival pirates are watching and when the celebrants fall asleep, the treasure is stolen and a sword fight ensues. Sounds like a lot of fun. And in case you were wondering, yes, Bob Finnegan designed this whole thing too. And Bob, it's been a while between first place finishes for the Satin Slippers, so maybe they're looking to turn their luck around this time. Right? Well, I think uh, they are trying to do some reconstruction the last couple years. They had a little rough time last year uh, getting up to New Year's Day. But this year, they have pulled themselves together. Uh, Tom King is their drill director, Joe Francisco, their choreographer, and uh, they have some really very talented people that they pulled in this year to do their theme. You're going to see a duel on Broad, a sword uh, fight on Broad Street that every man participates in, and that took a lot of doing uh, to get it all right. Uh, in fact, they weren't sure they were going to allow their men with swords. A few heads rolled as they were trying to, <laughs> to get this together. Another important thing is uh, the captain's father has been uh, seriously ill this year, and he wants to dedicate this performance to his father, who has always prayed with him up the street. And uh, so I know that he's going to put forth a uh, super performance today. You know, this, uh, this brigade is mostly composed of longshoremen, so it's kind of an appropriate theme that they chose for themselves. Definitely, definitely. Well, look, yeah, it looks at that background. It looks like there's been some pillorying and plundering going on <laughs> with those pirates. Here they go now.